Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 9th, 2022. Well, doggone it, it looks like we're going to be starting off this week with a big bearish push to the downside. I know we were all probably kind of hoping that we would catch a little bit of a follow through on that relief rally that kind of began in the last 30 minutes of trading on Friday but not so much this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. I know everyone's probably going, oh, we don't need a Monday like this, and I, I definitely understand that sentiment, and I understand um, how painful this is probably feeling to a lot of folks out there, but I want you to understand that this is an important process in the market. Remember, we, had, we have been over-exuberant in this market for so long as the Fed went through its printing party and now we're going to deal with that hangover as they have just printed so much money inflation's causing all kinds of problems and um, unfortunately this is one of those processes that's necessary and I would like to say that it is probably going to be over soon and although I do expect we're going to catch some relief rallies in some sub substantial relief rallies in the market, we have to understand that as we go through this rate rising environment that um, quarterly earnings are likely going to struggle for the next couple of quarters as uh, consumers are being pinched at every turn. Um, so pretty, pretty normal stuff. And I do want to point this out that although we are um, significantly down in our indexes and I know everyone is thinking come on it's got to stop soon I, I want to show you here that our overall PE ratio um, on the S&P 500 unfortunately we are still 59 percent above historical average now typically in a bear market what what typically happens is we go below um, that number of uh, that historical average um, when we actually get into the bear. Notice here in um, the the pandemic sell-off we actually went below 38 percent 36 percent below the historical average and that's pretty typical in a market correction um, environment so you will want to keep that in mind and unfortunately we overbought these stocks so much we inflated them so much that we're just not quite there yet and so we should expect that this is going to last a little bit longer than we would like it to last now let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today unfortunately as you can see looking um, at the charts here we obviously have a pretty ugly open this morning what we're we could definitely see is we could see the Dow set um, or at least test the 2022 lows here and set new lows or set the 20 or um, test the 2022 lows here in the Dow. Notice that we're continuing to move in this downtrend uh, pretty ugly and we are extremely oversold in the short term, which suggests that if we can find some reason for bullishness, then we might get a pretty substantial bounce to the upside. But remember, we're going to have to break some of these major downtrends before we can really say that we're going to start moving back to a bull market. And I would suspect guys with um, the Fed planning to raise rates over the next couple of months and going into the summer it's likely to stay more on the downside so don't fight this process is what I'm saying um, work with the process when the market is bearish be mostly bearish um, in the market as long as these downtrends continue stay on the bearish side of the market now when you look at these charts here um, you can see we are in that oversold condition so that possibility of a bounce um, is certainly there and if we do bounce up we've got these big resistance levels that we need to test with test and these um, um, downtrends that we're going to have to deal with as we rally back up 
So watch that closely. Every time we rally back into resistance, look for that opportunity to potentially short. Let's take a look at our SPY. SPY also very brutal um, in this selling, and we will be making some new 2022 lows here, um, breaking through these support levels, continuing to move in these downtrends. I got to tell you guys, it's 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 a pretty bleak picture this morning, and I understand it's rough for anyone to be talking about this, um, but. Please understand, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just passing along what I see in the charts. And as you look at this, we can see um, any rally back up could certainly be um, the next opportunity to short as we continue to move in this downside. And unfortunately, we're rapidly approaching 4,000 here in the S&P 500. And I think, guys, that big round number could provide a little bit of brief support, but if we fall beneath that, um, we could have, um, well, it could just get really ugly. So just be careful if we drop through 4,000 here in the SPY. If we take a look at our technicals um, on the chart, obviously these are pretty brutal and we there may be some reasons to keep your fingers crossed for a little bit of relief. We're rapidly approaching the 500 day moving average here in the SPY. So that may catch us for a little bit of relief. And that happens to be right down there around the 4,000 area in the SPY. So watch carefully for that. Now, if we look at those QQQs, um, NASDAQ um, feeling a lot of pressure here this morning. Our, um, our bond yields continue to rise sharply here, um, putting additional pressure here on the NASDAQ. And as you can see, continuing to move in this downtrend. Pretty darn brutal. And we're breaking uh, more lows, um, setting new 2022 lows, lots of resistance levels above. So remember, guys, any rally back, we want to be watching that for the potential of short and if you take a look here in this chart there is some price support down here in this area so perhaps we could catch a little support right around there around 3,000 in the QQQ those big round numbers like to work that way so watch that carefully if we can catch a little bit of price support in there but I'll tell you if we drop through 3,000 it could get really ugly really fast so watch that close and our technicals here on the chart pretty darn dismal notice with that we have already failed at our 50-day moving average our shorter term moving averages are quickly dropping um, down and as you can see our 34 EMA and 20 about right across down through that 500 days so pretty brutal on those technicals and then once again if we take a look at our Russell Russell is also extremely ugly here as you can see moving in the downtrend continuing to show lots of pressure um, we have made new 2022 lows we'll be making more of those lows here this morning continuing that bearish look in the market and unfortunately um, you can see we're going to have our 50-day moving average crossing down through the 500 day moving average as this bearish sentiment continues to grow in the market so watch that closely and don't fight it don't fight the bear um, let the bear happen because at the end of this guys there is always always a good rally that occurs once the selling ends um, if we have to take this market into um, into that real ugliness where our PE ratios actually go into the negative territory, that means that we're, there are going to be great stocks, great stocks at ba bargain basement prices. And that's where trading really becomes fun. And that's where you could really make a lot of money. But don't fight this because you could end up losing all of your money in that process so stand aside if you don't understand how to trade a bear market wait for that to occur or just continue to stay with the bear market on every rally back look for those opportunities to potentially short let's take a look at our t20 uh, well we better take a look at our vix i guess um our vix as you can see here in the chart um, had pulled back on Friday, but there is some concern here, guys. I think if we run that possibility, if we pop above um, this area here, 3740, 
um, area of the VIX, we could really see a change of sentiment of the institutions where they really start unloading. And then and also remember, we have that possibility that we get the pile on effect of forced redemptions as 401k holders and mutual fund holders call in and say, get me out of this. And we get that forced redemption selling. So you'll want to watch that. We could also watch for the possibility that because so much of this market is inflated on margin buying, meaning that we have borrowed so much to bar to buy the market here, that we could really start to see uh, margin selling come into play as well as those folks get squeezed um, to the downside in these charts. So unfortunately, it may not be over. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 is giving us that best hope that we have reached an oversold condition. And with this gap down this morning, we're certainly gonna be burying, burying the needle of T2122 uh, pretty close to zero, if not down there. So that would suggest if we catch those 4,000 levels in the SPY and the 300 levels in the QQQ, that we may have that opportunity for a relief rally and a little bit more of a sustained upside for a period of time. But we'll want to just be really, really careful watching for that next potential short um, as the ugliness here in the market could certainly pile on through the summer. So watch that carefully. And as you can see, um, we've opened up a big opportunity to the upside. If we can find some reason for bearishness, if the uh, bullishness, if if those bears will, will step off the gas pedal here for just a little bit, the bulls might be able to come in. But um, just watch. Watch carefully, um, I wouldn't bet on it. And then if we take a look at our T2108, our T2108, certainly not in a good situation here in T2108. We've broken these support levels. We continue to stay quite bearish in the close on Friday, 27% of our stocks holding above our 40 day moving average. And that's likely going to drop pretty substantially this morning. Our T2107, very much the same, 26%, 27% of our stocks holding above our 200 day. The big drop this morning, it's gonna change that dramatically. So um, not a good situation as we continue to follow these downtrends um, in these indexes. And then if we take a look at our T2101, um, Whoops. T2101, notice that, well, for Pete's sake. T2101 is pulling back um, um, with that little bit of relief we had on Friday, but I suspect, guys, it, it may spike up pretty hard here uh, today. So watch that carefully as those bears really growl hard um, here this morning. Let's take a look at our... Um, economic calendar there is some good news in the sense that we have not much on the calendar today for us to worry about we've got some fed fed speak in there we've got some short-term bond auctions in there so not a whole lot on the calendar today and as a matter of fact not a whole lot of uh, stuff on the calendar tomorrow but unfortunately as you can see the the big pensiveness that the market may be feeling right now is we have CPI numbers coming out, more inflation data coming out on Wednesday, PPI numbers on Thursday, and we've just got a parade of Fed speakers out there. So um, just keep an eye on that. Could be a little bit rough once we hit that middle of the week. Then let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar is a busy one. We've got um, over 250 companies on the calendar um, today. And unfortunately, we're gonna have just a slew of data coming our way this um, this week with some notables that we'll have to be paying attention to. So if you wanna catch that full list of notables for today, make sure you click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog. Unfortunately, guys, our, our earnings reports have just not helped us out a lot um, and probably shouldn't have been that big of a surprise with inflation so high that um, we're starting to see the impacts 
um, here on these stocks. But DDD will be reporting today. Looks like it's pushing down this morning. Now, I don't know if that is um, a factor of the report, but certainly pressure that we're seeing in the market. We're going to have um, AMC um, reporting today. Obviously, this is pulling back this meme stock. Um, uh, obviously running into quite a bit of trouble um, here at the moment. So uh, be very careful there. Uh, COTY is on the list today. Looks like COTY is getting a nice little bullish pop here on its earnings report. Uh, we've got SDC in here that will be reporting. GERN will be in there for reporting. TRU um, E um, will be in there. We've got um, Tyson. This might be an interesting one. Looks like Tyson's popping up. So again, these food prices continue to go higher. Um, and unfortunately, what the Fed did the other day will do nothing to reduce food prices um, with all of the impacts that we see out there from Ukraine, um, the war with Russia. So um, pretty ugly um, situation setting up as we move into the summer. Uh, WW um, is also on the list and then ZNGA, Zynga will also be reporting today. Looks like um, it is falling into this upside gap. So we'll want to keep a close eye on these charts. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when you are, are when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful then please do me that favor click that subscribe button on youtube and i mean click that um, thumbs up button and then leave a brief comment because that helps the channel to continue to grow you know guys i understand when someone comes out and talks all this gloom you know that we see in in these charts and indexes i know it's hard but at the same time it's honest and it's truthful. If you've been paying to, uh, attention to right way options for all of this period of time, you would have been prepared for this potential sell off. As a matter of fact, you'd be making money like we have been in the right way option service. So keep that in mind. I know you don't want to hear it and I know it's not what we want to want to see in the market. Everyone wants the market to be bullish. But at the same time, we have to trade with our eyes wide open. We have to understand these impacts out there in the market. So hopefully you understand as much as I hate to deliver this kind of information, it's important to do without all the hype and the drama and the prediction. So um, thank you so much for everyone who continues to support the channel. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stocks that may be setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to be doing your own due diligence, making sure that you're paying very, very close attention to the risk of these trades, that you're following your trading plan and your rules. And you should never, ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. First off, let's take a look, look at a few things on the bullish side. Yep, I did say bullish side. Take a look at CLX. We're seeing some of these defensive sector stocks picking up. These are those consumer staple things, things that we're always going to need. So you'll want to pay attention to those kind of stocks because they are holding up quite well. Now, I will tell you on a big sell-off day like today, it's certainly possible that all of these stocks will feel some pain. They'll get drawn into the selling as well. So watch that closely, but CLX looking pretty good. And this is one I've been mentioning for a while that could be setting up. We might also want to keep an eye on some of these just standard food stocks like um, Coca-Cola that's held up quite well, um, KHC that's hold, held up quite well, um, things like um, Hershey that has been holding up quite well. Looks like it's going to get a big old ugly selling here this morning, but we're, we're seeing a lot of these food type stocks holding up very, very well um, and just simply because of the costs 
um, um, uh, going up and these are things that we are definitely going to need. So if you're looking for some upside potential, make sure you're looking in those stocks or in those sectors that have that upside trend in play. Don't be trying to pick bottoms or pick tops. Stay with trends as they um, continue to react. Another place that you might look is um, um, into the utility sector. Um, utilities have been holding up quite well and although we might get some pullback on them we have here recently notice that a lot of these have been holding um, up pretty well and as you dive into that sector you're going to find lots of stocks um, um, trying to move up here overall so keep an eye on some of these stocks that are trying to hold up in that utilities area think about the things that people will always need even in a bear market even if conditions get really ugly think about the things that people will always need and those may be the safe havens here in the market um, for the shorting side of things, guys, I continue to mention financials. And although we had financials rally um, here just uh, um, last week a little bit, um, I think I was dead on accurate when I was talking earlier last week that these were setting up short and continuing to push down. And I suspect a lot of these financials will continue to see some selling. If you look at Citibank looking um, like it is set up here for a sell, uh, BAC could be set up here for some shorting in those charts. So continue to look at some of those financials. I think um, we've got more downside that may be coming in these as we raise rates and the consumer continues to get more and more strained. So watch those close. And then um, I have to I have to also say tech. Um, as our bond rates continue to go up and our bond rates are getting, or our bond yields are, are continuing to press this subject hard and um, tech continues to suffer. And although we saw um, some little bit of rally last week on some of those, take a look at Microsoft. Looks like Microsoft's gonna be setting new 2020 lows here with some ugly selling. Poor Amazon can just continue to sell off, not looking good. Now I wouldn't chase this to the downside, but any rally back then may set up some opportunity to short. So watch that closely. And I think tech will continue to struggle here for a while, as long as those bond yields continue to rise as quickly as they are. So be very, very careful guys. A lot of volatility, plan your risk carefully. If you're not comfortable with this kind of volatility, if you've been losing a lot lately, stop trading, stand aside, let this happen because when this is over, things will get very better, much, much better. Unfortunately, it could take all the summer, it, it could take another up to 12 months or more for this to resolve itself if this is a true bear. So be careful guys, be safe trade wisely and I will see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best.